Hey everyone, gentlemen, ladies, my name is Zach. Welcome to Way of the Zach. Um, now today I am going to be doing a very special shave for you. Um, today might seem like a normal day to anybody else, but for me, it's my birthday. It's my golden birthday, to be exact. On this day, November 24th, in 1990, at 9.42am, I was born. Uh, three months premature at that as well. Um, unbelievable, and here I am now with all of this. So, um, I figured I would pamper myself, use some new equipment, equipment and some of it I literally just got, um, and I'd like to acknowledge those people um, with whom uh, some of this equipment was made possible, mostly through trades. I've done a lot of trading recently, as I'm sure many of you have seen, and Shave the Man, Razor and Brush, etc, etc. So the first person, gentlemen, I'd like to acknowledge is Sam Beck. Um, wonderful guy, young guy. He actually sent me The CAD shaving stick and a whole tin of CAD. Um, wonderful smell. I still have yet to try it, but a wonderful guy to do business with as well. I traded him uh, my other Edwin Jagger for this. Next we have Eric Valenstein, who uh, provided the Samoog 830 bowl lathering brush, which I've used to create this absolutely wonderful lather in this Doug Smith scuttle that I got from a Craigslist um, lot or bulk sale um, from a couple weeks ago. Another wonderful gentleman, thank you very much for that. I, uh, what did I trade him? Oh, I just, I paid for that. Uh, Kelly Eaton. I traded the John and John Allen block and the Oh, and the uh, tub of uh, Tob's uh, sandalwood shaving cream for a pack of Wilkinson sword blades, two packs of Shark Super stainless blades, and a pack of 10 stainless steel Dorco blades. I haven't tried any of these blades and I've been wanting to, um, and now that is made possible. So in a weird way, you know, many of these things are kind of coming together all at once. Um, Regardless of whether you guys realize it or not, you, in a weird way, just kind of given me a birthday present. So thank you very much for those things. Um, greatly appreciated. I will definitely use them. Moving on, we have Chad Tigert, who was kind enough to piff me some uh, Katie's Bubbles soap. And the soap that I'm currently using today is going to be Katie's Palms. It's probably one of the best smelling apple uh, shaving soaps that I've tried um, or have smelled. Definitely stronger than Cider House 5, but it doesn't have that sort of ciderness. It's very apple-y, though, um, with a very nice sheen to it, much like how uh, Art of Shaving Sandalwood Cream is, which is currently in here and has produced a wonderful, wonderful lather. Probably going to need to get it a little more wet. Um, this is also the first time I've used both this mug, this brush, and this soap, so many firsts. Um, and... Busta, you were totally right. Smoke 830, wonderful, wonderful bowl lathering brush. Okay, now that I've got a, a, a lot of water in here, it's building a, wow, really, really nice lather. This should be fantastic. Moving on, we have Kevin Posey, or Posse. I don't, I apologize for butchering your name. Um, I sent... You, the, uh, the How to Grow Mustache slash uh, Razor Emporium, King R Emporium Shave Stick um, today. There, there's a little mix-up, though. I'm going to go to the post office and uh, deal with it, though, promptly. Um, in exchange, you're going to be sending me Pedal Pusher Fancy's Briar, which sounds awesome, um, sort of a vanilla scent. I look forward to uh, trying it. And lastly is Mr. Andy Newton, who a couple of months ago so graciously offered to give uh, provide a couple of uh, free straight razor hones. Um, I got the, uh, if you remember, in a couple, like maybe two or three videos ago, I had a J.R. Torrey and Sons um, that I got from Rusty Razors, Mr. Uh, Matthew David, or David Matthew, I believe. I can't remember the name, I apologize. Um, but anyway, he, uh, I, I, he offered a while back, I accepted, and I finally got around to sending it to him. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be getting my first straight razor honed, a uh, vintage J.R. Torrey with a barber's notch, 5 8 a uh, hollow ground or half, I can't remember which. Um, and then all I'll need is a Lynn Abrams uh, paddle strop. Um, and that should be awesome. Um, I'm also going to be taking many hues uh, from other various uh, wet shavers in the world, like uh, So Sharp David. David, I use some Noxzema, 
as a pre-shave. Um, and I'm going to be using Thayer's Witch Hazel to round things out afterwards. Um, and then finally, using good old Club and Panade because it's the closest, it's the best uh, pairing with the Katie's Bubbles Palms that I can think of. Using my good old trusty Edwin Jagger with new fluted handle and a Gillette Super Super Blue Stainless Blade. I've never tried this blade before, so that will be interesting. Let me make sure I'm not forgetting anything else. Um, I'm also going to try really, really hard to make this video as short as possible because I know my last couple of videos have been very, very long. And the last one I actually recorded, I never even posted because it got cut off it was so long. So I think now what I'm going to do is shut, uh, cut this and come back to the beginning of the shave. So, see you in a bit. Okay, and we're back. We've got this wonderful lather. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, funny enough, I'm actually... Oh my god, this stuff smells so good. Katie's Bubbles, um, oh man, I, I apologize. I cannot remember the uh, the gentleman who started this company, but an amazing, amazing soap and an even more amazing brush. Once again, Busta, Shave Busta, totally spot on with this brush as a bowl lathering brush. This thing is working wonders for this soap. Maybe add just a little more wire because I think it can handle it. I notice I have this tendency to lick my lips when I uh, when I'm concentrating really hard or when I'm lathering, so I'm <laughs> actively trying not to. Oh yeah, look at that, super peaky, super foamy. You might also be wondering why I'm wearing a, uh, or you may or may not be wondering why I'm wearing a black shirt. Um, well, funny enough, a couple of days ago I was on my Flipboard, getting, uh, just checking, you know, new videos and whatnot, and I noticed that uh, Geo Fat Boy, Nick Shays, and So Sharp David were all wearing a black shirt, and each one of their boxes with their thumbnail were lined up perfectly in a row, each one wearing a black shirt black crew neck or black v-neck. So in honor of that, in my own weirdness, I, uh, <laughs> I decided to um, imitate. Because as they say, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. Perfect. Get the blade nice and hot, and let's do this. I apologize for that. My, uh, uh, it seems to always happen. The way I have the camera situated is almost directly above my sink, which has fairly hot water in it, and the steam seems to consistently uh, fog it up. So I apologize for that. Uh, anyway, let's continue. My mustache is actually getting really long, and I'm really happy with that. It's definitely getting thicker, it's getting longer. I really need some mustache wax, actually. So, I mean, if anyone would be willing to, as a birthday present, uh, or out of the kindness of their heart, or even as a piff or a holiday present, uh, send me some mustache wax, whether that's how to grow a mustache, can or, uh, dandy candy, or uh, as, Rico's, as Rico's Corner, Gerardo likes, uh, Mr. Natty's mustache wax. That comes from the UK, though, so it's probably a little more pricey. Um, but I would be absolutely grateful. Or even um, men's grooming stuff. I know they make some pretty good stuff, some pretty good smelling uh, mustache waxes as well. Mm. 
Mm. Wonderful apple scent. When I finally do get a, uh, when I finally do start straight razor shaving, um, you can definitely expect me to. Sorry, I couldn't tell if it was recording or not. I'm gonna edit that part out. Um, as I was saying, you can definitely expect me to uh, imitate the stallion. Um, I have a knack for uh, imitations. Um, and even though I only know a couple of them, it'll uh, probably be enough to get the uh, point across. So it'll just start coming out, um, be you know, because of who Anthony is and, and you know, sort of the uh, the following that he's created, just through a uh, a love and a passion for uh, wet shaving, especially straight razor shaving. And recently, m much like uh, David Christopher Bailey said, um, or Christopher Wow, Christopher David Bailey said. Um, he's been converting a lot of people over to straight razor shaving. Also, a couple weeks ago, I took it upon myself to watch all of, or most of, Mantic 59's videos, and I've definitely learned and I'm hopefully applying quite a bit of what he talks about in regards to uh, shooting for par and uh, not continuing to go over spots that you already have, which I have a tendency to do because I anywhere I see shaving soap I just immediately think, oh, I need to shave it off. Blade seems to be doing okay. Okay, now I think I will clean up and go for my next pass. Stay tuned for that. There we go, that's proper. Second pass, here we go. 